Yeah, today we will talk something about the APC and uh, the APC is used for remote uh, monitoring of your uh, rack or your any network devices or your pow uh, components which are powered on at uh, some other several locations. Generally APC is a 8 slotted power outlet where you are having a power outlet for uh, setting a power to APC and remotely you can monitor your power or uh, by going into the uh, one website or the IP address which you will give to the will you will set it to the APC and you will log in into the APC just like this uh, I can just log out and log on into the APC which I am having and uh, I'm just logging into the APC and here we go and you can see this is the home page of APC which I have set uh, the basic thing whenever you buy a APC the APC which I bought is 7920 and uh, this 7920 is a 19 inch switch uh, outlet for 8 power uh, slot and uh, this consists of uh, components like a display of amps and uh, the warning signal, overload signal and the OK which will be there uh, all the time and uh, whenever some uh, warning is there of overload you will be getting this beep sound and even the red signal will be on and whenever you press this particular uh, button and hold it you can see the IP address you can see the IP address of this particular APC. Generally, uh, the APC IP address will be uh, different depending upon uh, what IP address you are getting. And, uh, and the I got uh, something a IP address of 172.168.16.5 or something around that. After that, I kept my. Uh, I kept my laptop with the IP address which is matching to that of 172.168 and the mask as 255.255.255.0 and uh, so that after that I can I am able to log into the IP address given by them and I am able to log into this after that I went into the administration there in the network the network I have seen something known as manual next and here you can modify whatever IP address you want whatever IP address is there in your pool and the subnet mask and the default gateway it the APC automatically takes the default gateway whenever you plug your APC into your network generally the APC will be plugged uh, means what the RJ45 will be plugged here in the APC and that RJ45 will be plugged into your switch in your rack and so that it will get access like this and uh, to getting the access you can set something like a device in the device management you can set all the parameters